Well, the DNR today announced that walleye fishing on Lake Mille Lacs will go on even though anglers have reached the walleye quota for the year. The DNR says that the catch and release restrictions have successfully protected the younger walleye. So how does the DNR count fish? Good question. And Heather Brown joins us right now. As you might expect a lot of heavy duty <laughs> math involved it here. It sure is because of course you can't count every fish out there. So for almost all of the lakes, they catch samples of fish and then extrapolate out the data. But when it comes to the big time lakes, Lax, Lake of the Woods, Red Lake. The DNR also relies on the anglers to give them the information they need. What are you out here fishing for today? Fishing for bass. Crappies. Um, well, I'm just casting out to see if there's anything that will bite. The DNR counts fish on a smaller lake like Fallon once every five or six years. We have management plans on 4,200 lakes in Minnesota. Don Pereira is the DNR fisheries chief. How often are you doing this? It depends on how important the lake is. Our big lakes get surveyed every year. On those lakes, the DNR does what are called creel surveys, which can cost up to $200,000. So you have people that will actually go out and ask questions of the anglers. That's correct. They're called creel clerks. And they typically uh, have a schedule they have to follow. They have to be at specific stations on specific days. How long were you fishing? How many fish did you catch? What type? How many did you release? What were the size of these fish? The DNR also catches fish, often in nets. For example, they'll set 52 nets for walleye in Mille Lacs this summer. We'll leave them overnight, and then we'll come back the next day and pull them and basically count and measure um, the fish in the nets. They look at the ages, maturity, and sex of what they caught and compare it to years past. So it's basically sampling. Correct, right, biological sampling. For bass, they use electrofishing. We get in a big boat, we turn on a generator, and we run electricity into the water. <laughs> and it temporarily stuns the fish and we scoop them up. Is that because the bass won't swim into the nets? Yeah, basically. For the Mille Lacs walleye count, DNR crews work every day for a month because timing and placement of the nets are essential for correct estimates. When our crews are finally done, they're pretty tired. <laughs> they're ready for some time off. So it used to be that the DNR would use aircraft to take aerial video of boaters and anglers, but that's really gone away with budget cuts. In some cases, they do partnerships with the Park Service to watch from above, and they are experimenting maybe with some still photos. That's interesting. Do they think they're pretty accurate? They do, they, especially on those big lakes where they have the surveys and then they have the, the catching. On the smaller lakes, they, they admit probably not as quite as accurate, mm -hmm. but when it really counts, like Mille Lacs, they know what they're talking oh, about. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, yeah. Heather. Mm -hmm. If you have a good question for Heather, please email it by going to wcco.com links.